dear students welcome to online classes in our previous session i had explained you about computer fundamentals definition and different characteristics of computer system now we will start this session with few definitions now in my previous session i had told you about what is data what is a data data is nothing but a raw facts data is nothing but a raw raw fact data can be in any form maybe in the form of text in the form of alpha numeric character or in the form of numbers or digits or in the form of images or pictures name of a student is a data and if you look at numbers the marks obtained by a student that is a numbers it is also a form of data suppose if you register num number of any student it is a combination of text and numbers that is called alpha numeric characters this can be a data and what about images now very good example for this is your photo after that we have information information what is information information is nothing but a processed data it is processed data you know that first is input we have to input the data and computer process it and gives us the result or output so output is your information this is nothing but a meaningful information it is nothing but a meaningful information next we look at one more definition is hardware one is hardware what is hardware hardware is nothing but the physical component of computer physical components of computer which you can touch and feel keyboard is one part of a computer it is a hardware monitor is a part of a computer printer is a hardware so what is a hardware hardware is nothing but the physical components or parts of a computer which you can touch next definition is software so what is a software a computer programs computer programs are called as software actually what is a computer program computer program is nothing but a set of sequential instructions given to a computer because all of you know that computer has to be instructed or we have to write a program for computer so so your program is nothing but your software there are two types of software one is system software second one is application software application software so what is system software a system software is a software which has been developed for proper functioning of computer or these types of software used to coordinate or to work with hardware part of computer system and second type of software is application software and this software has been developed for particular application particular application particular application here ms word ms excel powerpoint all these are examples of application software so here we are using ms word only for one type of application for drafting a letter for different type of documentation we are using similarly we are using powerpoint or only for presentation purpose number tally is your application software uh, or billing software now if you go to any of the provision store you are getting a bill that is also a type of application software Sy system software which act as an interface between interface between the hardware as well as software so these are all different types of software now after this we'll move on to 
नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट फंक्शन यूनिट ऑफ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम फंक्शनल कॉम्पोनेंट्स और यूनिट्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम फंक्शनल कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम ऑफ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम इन दिस यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ कंप्यूटर वर्क सो दिस वील एक्सप्लेन विद द हेल्प ऑफ ए ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ ए कंप्यूटर सिस्टम वी से ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ computer system students you know that different parts of computers so there are three main parts of your computer system they are input unit input unit next one is called cpu next one is output unit next one is output unit input unit it is used to accept accepts data or instructions instructions from the user or the programmer keyboard keyboard mouse mouse joystick joystick scanner scanner all these are example for input devices webcam and microphone are also different types of input devices cpu is divided into three parts they are computer memory control unit and alu this again memory is divided into primary memory and secondary memory cpu is called as the brain of computer system why it is called brain of the computer system because all the activities all the activities of computer system activities of computer system or computer system takes place inside cpu first it accepts it accepts the data instructions from the user at the first as a first step it takes the data from the input device and after that it stores the information it stores the data information everything in computer memory this control unit it controls all the activities of computer it gives instructions to or send signals to all the different parts of computer system process the data it process the data it process the data given with the help of instructions then it it communicate or it sends the result to the output device so this is how computer works we'll explain like this see at the beginning computer accept the data from the input devices and all the data on instruction it goes to it goes to computer memory at the beginning then with the help i am mean, as per instructions from the control unit all the data goes to one more part is alu this is arithmetic and logical unit this for calculation arithmetic and logic unit what is arithmetic and logic unit this is one part of cpu all the cal arithmetic calculations as well as logical operations will will takes place inside this 
ALU, one of the part of CPU. So here, once the data is, the data stored in the memory, it move on to ALU for processing or for calculation. And immediately after calculation, the data, it goes back to memory, it will be stored in the memory temporarily, temporarily. After this, as per the instruction from the control unit, these results stored in the computer memory will be, will be communicated or it will be sent to the output device. That is another part of your computer system. So this is how computer works or this is the how the process takes place inside the computer system. Output unit. Output unit. What is the use of output unit? Output unit is used to display display the result. Result is nothing but information to the information. Normally using monitor is output unit. Printer is example output unit and even speakers. Speakers. All these are example for output unit. So, the functioning of computers or how computer process the data, everything we have learned or have explained through block diagram of computer system. Students, let me summarize what you have learned in this session. We have started the session with a definition of what is data and information and hardware and software. Then I have explained you the functional unit of computer system. Let me conclude the session at this point. I will come back to you with my next session. Thank you very much.